Mr. Assessment here. Let's take a look at some real-world problems on the coordinate plane. Now, the most helpful strategy is to really think about and picture what is going on. All those dots, all those lines mean something. And if we can picture the real-world objects that they represent, that they mean and stand for, then this is going to make a lot more sense and we can use that understanding to check our answers to make sure we're accurate and to even predict future answers. So let's take a look at this example. This is showing what? I'll just pause for a moment. Can you try to figure out what this is showing? This is showing how four students spent their recess time and they have a 10 minute recess. So let's think about that for a moment. If their recess is 10 minutes long, should, uh, should it be possible for anyone to have spent more than 10 minutes total on that recess? No, it really shouldn't. So we should see things that add up to 10 or even less than 10 total. So we have two different spots over here, uh, two different choices that we looked at with these four students. So the first one is with these students over here and some went on the jungle gym and they had a great time over there. Their kids went to the basketball court. So with those in mind, let's think about this a little bit. Who spent the most minutes on the jungle gym? Well, this x-axis, the ver sorry, the y-axis, the vertical axis here, is the one that's going to show us the jungle gym minutes while the x-axis is showing us what? the basketball court minutes. So we go up the, the y-axis vertically, and who spent the most time on the jungle gym? It's going to be the one that's the highest up, and that is going to be Juwan. So Juwan is the student who spent the most time on the jungle gym. And how long did he spend there? Well, let's look at what line he's on. He spent nine minutes there. Okay, um, how about basketball? Who spent the most time um, on the basketball court? Well, that's the x-axis going this way. The farthest to the right now is what we're looking for, and that's going to be Lee. Lee was happy to spend all 10 minutes of his recess playing basketball. Well, let's keep thinking about this a different way. How about Luke? How did Luke use his recess time? Well, I see him right here in the center, and he's at 5-5. Five, five. So his ordered pair looks like that. And what does that ordered pair mean for him? It means that he spent five minutes playing basketball and five minutes on the jungle gym. Now, you could even write a story off of this. It could be a great story prompt just to, to um, figure out and explain why these students um, use those minutes like they did. Maybe Lee was there starting and Trey was there at the beginning and Juwan started there but then didn't like what was going on, so he ran to the jungle gym and played there. You could use that to create um, all sorts of stories for it. So there you go on that. Let's look at another one. And take a moment to, to look at this, and this is going to show some really different things here. And let's see what uh, what we might see. This is the a city layout. It's a grid, and it shows the streets and avenues. Those are our axes on this. We've got the y-axis with streets and the x-axis with avenues. And those, um, this is where things are in town. And so well, there's a lot we can look at with this one. Uh, what's, how about where's the movie theater? What's well, the ordered pair for the movie theater? The movie theater is at First Avenue. It's one over from our origin. We always start at zero, zero. And then one, two, three, four, five. So the ordered pair for the movie theater is going to be one, five. But what that means in real life is that the movie theater is found at 1st Avenue and 5th Street. Okay, what shop is nearest the center of town? Well, the middle of town is going to be somewhere about 5-5, five, five, I would say. And so 5-5, five, five, right in here. What's nearest the center of town? Oh, well, it's the tire shop. There it is. Well, what's nearest the border of town or the outside of town? Well, the border would be the very edge, and so I've got a few options here. I see that the gas station is going to be only one block from the edge of town. Looks like the movie theater's one block. The grocery store is three blocks from the edge of town, so it's not going to be that one. So it's going to be the movie theater and the gas station. How about this one? Are there any 
stores that are on the same street or avenue? Do any of them share the same street or avenue? We could look at the movie theater, and it goes all the way across. It's the only one there. The tire shops alone on 5th Avenue and 4th Street. As I look over here, I see something. Looks like the gas station and the grocery store are on the same street right there. They're on 7th Avenue. Okay, here's another little story for you. Let's say you're at the tire shop. Why? Because your car needs a new tire. So you broke down. That means you're not driving anywhere right now. You're going to be walking. Well, where could you walk and how long would it take to get there? So let's say you're at the tire shop right here and you want to get to the grocery store to buy your favorite snack. So how long, or how many blocks would it take to get there? How far do you have to go? Well, it's a city street and we're going to say there are buildings and houses all over the place. So you can't just go the short way right there. We actually have to use the streets. Well, you could go up here. How far did you go to get there? You went one, two, three, four, because you went two there and you went two there, and that's going to be four blocks total that way. Well, is there a shorter way? Let's see. What if you went over first? One, two, three, four. You've got two here, two there. That's another four. Well, you just made a cool square right there. That could be the same way, uh, the same length to get there. And now let's try even one more. What if you went over, up, over, up? One, two, three, four. Well, that's going to be four there as well. So uh, that's you've got a bunch of different ways that you could get there that are four. And four is going to be the shortest way that we could get there. Could you figure out a longer way? Yeah, you sure could. You could go any direction that you want and just go around. And you could think of lots of long ways. But if I was to ask the shortest way to get there, you would have four blocks to go. So that's a great review. You're ready for the questions that follow this. And um, that is how a few different ways that you can look at and understand a coordinate plane with some real world problems.